Dead Presidents podcast is brought to you in part by our sponsor, Charles McCarthy, who has an important message. $50 reward. Eloped yesterday from my bed and board, my wife Lockie, alias Rachel, aged about 27. She is tall, slender, of a fair complexion, and has lost her front teeth. It is supposed she went off with a French fencing master and barber named Philip Housey, aged about 35. He is about 5 feet 8 inches high, well made, has short brown hair, and speaks broken English. He had on when he went away a light seersucker coatee, boots, and pantaloons. He robbed me of a considerable sum and took all the clothing apparel he could lay his hands on, not even sparing those belonging to the child which my wife has left behind. My God! I will pay $50 as a reward to any person or persons who will detect and lodge him in any prison in the United States. The above-named Halsey has been, a short time back, confined in a Boston prison for gross misdemeanor, and has been three times in our Bridewell prison lately. Three times. He brought from Boston to this city another man's wife, and has left her in great distress with two children. He being a noted villain, particularly in disturbing the peace of mind of married families, I hope and beg, in the name of humanity, of all families, as well as all others, that they will aid and assist me in detecting him. It is supposed they have gone towards Philadelphia. Wow, James. Listeners. There's a lot to unpack in there. If you live anywhere near Philadelphia, keep your wife under lock and key. For sure. Because the shameless homewrecker, Philip Housey, could come sauntering by at any moment to seduce your beloved spouse with his broken English, spirit her away to some other city, and leave her high and dry when he does it all again with yet another man's wife. Lockie McCarthy has already been debauched beyond redemption, but there's still hope for the sanctity of your own marriage. Look out for a chance at that $50 reward, but even more, to avoid having to sponsor your own ad on our podcast to recover your wife from this inveterate French Lothario. This has been a message from our sponsor, Charles McCarthy. My God, James, what a sordid turn of events there. Indeed. And... Please be on the lookout for this low-down son of a bitch. And now, a word from our sponsor, Celinda Peckham. Beware of a monster. Whereas Lewis Peckham, later captain in the 4th Regiment United States Infantry, my lawful wedded husband, without any just cause or reason, has deserted my bed and board. Although painful to me, I do denounce him as a liar, and a villain, and a person not to be trusted by either sex. He is a robber of innocence, I have been told, but alas, not until too late. Too late. He is despised by his comrades, and pitied by his acquaintance. For his unfeeling conduct towards me, I have to caution all young females, as well as old women, to beware of this monster, wherever he may go. I married him without knowing him. In consequence of his standing in the army, I took him for a gentleman, but, alas, I was deceived. I married him to make him happy, but his vile and treacherous disposition would not admit of it. I therefore think it a duty incumbent on me to caution all female society to have no connection whatever with this monster. He is a destroyer of happiness, but I trust in God he will in some future day receive a full compensation for his villainous conduct towards me. I likewise caution all persons, both male and female, from trusting him on my account, I am sorry for the reputation of the army that this monster ever had so high an honor bestowed on him as to wear the uniform of this country and so villainously disgrace it. Wow. Listeners, if you thought Philip Halsey was bad, get a load of Lewis Peckham. Be advised to not only lock up your wives, but also your daughters and grandmothers, 
according to his own wife, not even old women are safe from the seduction by this puffed and reckless libertine. We here at the Dead President's Podcast support our nation's troops. But we're going to have to make an exception for Captain Lewis Peckham. His outrageous profligacy has brought more shame upon the 4th Regiment than did General Hall when he surrendered his entire force at Fort Detroit. Shame. The 4th Regiment couldn't conquer Canada, but Captain Peckham will not fail to conquer the virtue of every innocent maiden or venerable matron unfortunate enough to cross his path. Listeners, beware of this monster. Our hearts and our prayers go out to our sponsor, Celinda Peckham. We wish you the best. (laughs) 